Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Stocks Factor. Hope you are doing well. In this video of weekly market analysis, we will discuss two very important points. First is the news flow which has recently happened due to which we have seen huge volatility in the markets in this week and we will also discuss the possibility for the next week especially related to the events and then we will do the analysis of Nifty. And we will also look at one very important sector which has seen huge rise and huge volumes in the market recently and that is the PSU bank sector. So without wasting time, let's get started. So first of all, we'll start with the sectoral analysis and then at last we'll do the nifty analysis and the important levels for the nifty for the next week. Now as you all know that we have seen huge selling by FIIs this week which has been continuing since the past two months. So if we quickly analyze the FIIs data, so we'll start with the FIIs data first. So if we quickly see the cash market data of FII selling this month also after some initial buying in the first few days of this month, we have seen huge selling by FIIs and that is the continuous relentless selling by FIIs and against that TIIs have bought almost half what FIIs have sold. The monthly figure of January 2022, they have already sold up to 38,000 crores and against that DIIs have only bought around 18,279 crores. Now it is half the amount. So who has beared the remaining half the amount? That is the retail investors. So now the retail investor is hugely participating against the relentless selling of FIIs and they are also providing the support to the market. They are buying what FIIs are selling equivalent to what DIIs are also buying. So this has been the one data point which has been observed this month as compared to the previous months. As you can see in month of November, whatever FII sold, almost 80% of that was bought by DIIs. Similarly, we can see in the month of December, almost 90% of the amount was directly bought by DIIs and remaining by retail investors. But in this month, we can see almost 50-50 buying by DIIs and the remaining by retail investors. So this is one observation which we have to keep in mind. So FIIs are continuously selling. Now if we quickly analyze the data of FIIs, that is the derivatives data. So you can see they are very light in positions. They have reduced their overall you know, positions in the futures also and the calls also and the actual positions whatever they are holding you can see they are in huge red it means they are net short on index so right now they are heavily short on index you can see the future long index ratio it has come to 27 percent this has not been seen in the past one and a half years this is for the first time they have come way below 50 percent right they were almost above 50 percent all the time except only one case in last September when they came just below 50% but now majority they are holding short positions in index in both the indexes. We'll analyze that also and on the last trading day also they created short positions in index and they sold the call options net to net right and they bought few put options also. Now first let's analyze the sector which has been in the news and which has also given a huge rally recently and we'll analyze that what has happened so far and what are the possibilities now. Right, so we'll first quickly go to the weekly monthly page and we'll understand that what is the sector. So the sector is the PSU bank which we already discussed. In the last week itself it has almost given 7% rally. And this is the alone sector which has given rally apart from the private bank and bank nifty which was also supported by SBI rally also. Now you can see here almost rest all the sectors are negative except for the PSU bank which has outperformed the nifty very much. So you can see here nifty is negative but last week PSU banks were positive. Also you can see one very important data point just to share that FIIs have been the net sellers of 22,000 crores last week and DIS only bought half. So we have already discussed this data point. Now if we quickly see if we just select the nifty PSU bank you will see that the majority of the rally has been contributed by Bank of Baroda and Canara Bank. Some rally has also been contributed by SBI. If we quickly analyze one of the stocks, so if we go to the drill through stocks, so you can see here after a huge selling which happened last month that is on December, we saw a turnaround in this stock just after the expiry starting from 30th of December, the starting of the January series and since then we have almost seen more than 20% rally in both Bank of Baroda and Canara Bank. Also we have seen good rally of around 19% in SBI also but we'll analyze Bank of Baroda and Canada so we have seen huge rally. Majority of the rally has been taken place due to short covering. So you can see huge short covering happening here also last week also and we have seen the jump of more than 13 points 
similarly on the daily chart also that short positions have been mainly winded up in the futures now if you see the actual data that the relative strength of this particular stock has been very strong as compared to the nifty it has outperformed the nifty and now if you see the detailed table so similar data point will be observed in canara bank so we'll analyze bank of baroda just after the expiry at expiry it was 80 and now it is at 103 so it made the high of around 106.50 the last trading day so this was the huge rally and after rallying so much so basically the recent rally which has been observed above 90 price so this has been attributed to the fact that there has been a news flow which came around yesterday so the news was related to the bad bank that bad bank which was discussed in the previous budget has now been given the final approval and now 15 cases adding up to 50,000 crores to be shifted by March 31. So basically these all 15 cases are majority from the public sector banks. So they will be handed over to the bad bank which will obviously help to clean the books of PSU banks. So this has been the major reason for the recent rally in the PSU banks. So the buying actually started before this news and this news came yesterday. It was out during the market hours and after this news came we saw profit booking in all the PSU banks in the last two hours in the last trading day. So we can see that also. So if we select Bank of Baroda and if we see the time frame of 15 minutes. So you can see the selling started at around 13.30. The news was out and then whatever long positions were created before that. So and they were unwinded and we see a long unwinding and also selling in cash market. So this news was already out. So whatever the effect of the news was, the point is to say that the effect of the news has already been now factored in the price. So this was a kind of event where it was buy on rumors and sell on news. So as you can see, there was huge buying in both the banks that is Bank of Baroda, Canra and also buying in SBI mainly in cash market. You can see huge continuous buying for the past seven to eight days, which has led to the rally. So this was the major reason. Now we already have one more event coming up very important event related to India that is the budget on 1st Feb. So if there is any unexpected news related to again PSU banks, suppose there is an infusion of fresh capital in the PSU banks, then that can lead to further rally. But right now, whatever news has been out related to bad bank that has already been factored in the price and they are very close to their immediate resistance levels. And then we saw some profit booking. So there was some selling near the resistance zone. Fresh rally in PSU banks can only be seen if they break the recent 52 week high. Now if you analyze the daily chart also on a longer time frame, so you will see that they are very close to the historical resistance levels also. And if this breaks by any reason this particular level, then fresh rally can be seen up to 125 to 130 levels. But we have to see how the budget pans out. And if you also see the weekly chart for both the stocks, that is Bank of Baroda, Again here also we can see on the weekly chart that it is close to the historical highs. Same if we select the Canara bank also, you will see that it is above the 200 day weekly moving average and it is also very close to the recent 52 week high and the historical weekly high also. And we have seen good volumes in the past one week near the recent 52 week high. So we have to be cautious at this level and fresh rally can only be seen if this breaks this level with good volumes and then the higher levels can be seen in this particular stock. So we have to see how the budget pans out and accordingly we will take up the trades. Similar pattern can also be observed in Axis Bank which is worth watching. Now we will quickly look at the nifty levels for the next week. So we are into the index analysis page and now let's quickly look at the index levels which has happened till now and what are the possibilities for the next week. So as you all know we have already discussed that FIIs have been major sellers in all the index heavyweights and that has led Nifty again fell from 18,300 to 16,700 approx. Right? Again the Nifty fell after making a recent high. So you can see a huge selling relentless selling by FIIs in the mainly index heavyweights. So you can see here continuous long positions and then short positions being created in the last week. So this data is very well correlated with the short positions being created. Now you can see in the last week in Nifty short positions have been added and the price has fallen and those short positions you can also see in the FII's data also. So FII's have been now net sellers that is the net short side in the index and you can see that. So whatever short positions are there those are mainly by FII's so we have to be cautious right now. We have to wait for the budget event to over 
so if the budget is unexpected which the big players have not expected any good news comes then this can lead to short covering but right now they are negative on index so before taking any fresh trade we have to wait and see how the budget pans out so this is something very important you need to consider we have to relate data in such a way we have to understand what big players are trying to do and if you see the pcr ratio also that has also fallen with the price so mainly calls are being written more as compared to puts similarly you can see here in the option chain we can see huge call writing at higher strike prices and we are also getting support near 17000 so 17000 is the first level of support and then the next support and the major support for nifty is 16500 right so these are the two important levels since the volatility in the market is very high option premiums have increased in the last week so we have to be cautious so you can see two immediate levels for nifty for the next week 17000 and then 16500 we have seen some buying coming so if we see the weekly option prices of 17000 put so if you see 17000 put option price so it is around 200 so some level of support can be expected around 16800 so this is again an important support for the put writers which have written puts at 17000 because we can see more put writing at 17000 as compared to call writing and now if we quickly analyze the derivatives data that is the bottom table so you can see as we discussed in the last trading day short positions have been created and we have also taught how to analyze the data just after the expiry so there has been only one day just after the expiry so basically this is the cumulative open interest and you can see here it is showing long unwinding but in the previous video where we analyzed the monthly rollover statistics so we have to take into account the very next day after the expiry the rest days the data is absolutely whatever you see but for the very next day after the expiry you have to see this position so you can see the previous day's position will be this one because some positions will be created for this current expiry also those will not be carry forwarded those will be settled down so this is the same number you will see here also in the chart here also so you will see the same cumulative open interest so this open interest that is around 10 million 9 lakh 35,000 OI so this is the OI the rollover OI that means combining the open interest of next month that is the February series and the March series so we are excluding the positions which were created in the January series so that's why these two numbers are the same that is the rollover open interest so because on 27th of January there may be some open interest created for the January series so that will be settled on the same day that that, that will not be carry forwarded to the 28th January so the open interest is so if we consider this open interest so on 27th settlement after 330 these are the actual positions so we will consider not this one but this one so if you see it is 10 million 935 and now on 28th of january it is 11 million so it means the positions have increased right so it means the future cumulative open interest has increased from 27th to 28th right this is very important point we are sharing the link of the video where how to analyze the monthly rollover statistics just after the next day of the expiry but in a nutshell we have given the rationale so now it means the open interest has increased and we have seen the fall in price so it means short positions have been created in index similarly you will see the same data point for bank nifty also on bank nifty also on the last trading day that is on 28th of january short positions have been created and also you know fis have created short positions so basically those majority of the short positions have been created by fis so we have to be cautious if you want to make position on the long side please wait for the budget to pan out and then see if FIIs are covering those shorts or not or whether they are increasing their short positions so that's why we have to wait and watch for the event to pan out before making any position on the long side and see how the FIIs are handling the existing positions which are majority on the short side so friends with this we come to the end of this analysis hope you like the analysis and the rationale behind the analysis if you have any question regarding this video please post your questions on the comment section and we will definitely answer your questions and if you have not subscribed to our channel till now please subscribe to our channel so that you can get the notifications of such videos which we post every week in which we discuss the index and the stocks and present the rationale of how you can analyze the stocks in an effective way so that you can identify high probability trades the purpose of these videos is to increase your learning so that you can do your own analysis the same way using our dashboard to identify high probability trades 
And if you want to get the access of our dashboard, please visit our website www.stocksfactor.com for more details. See you in another video. Take care and goodbye.